guys, it's the Engineer here, and today I'm going to be showing you my gaming steering wheel. I purchased this about a year ago, so what I'm trying to do is just doing a review since I've had that long, and I'm going to share my pros and cons. So I still have the original box. Um, this is the Subsonic Superdrive SV400 racing wheel. It has a 180 degree of movement, so 90 to the right, 90 to the left. And then it has programmable buttons. And it has three different types of sensitivity modes, Arcade, Pro, and Expert. Um, yeah, so this works for PS4, Xbox One, PS3, and PC. And it does not work for Nintendo Switch. So, opening the box up. So we got the pedals, which come in this plastic package. So here's the cord. This will connect right into the steering wheel. And I'll show you later. And here's the brake pedal, gas pedal. You could program them to switch them if you want. Gas pill and brake pill, wherever you want. Um, it does. Uh, right, uh, I'll get that part. Then we have the steering wheel. We have the steering wheel. And then this is for like if you're on Xbox, if you want to hook up a controller. So it's USB, and this would connect to your controller. So the USB would be plugged in right underneath here. And then this part would be plugged into your controller. And then we have the manual on troubleshooting and the instructions. So. This is USB, so this could be plugged into your Xbox, PS4, PS3, or your PC. So we have the programmable buttons, as you can see. We have um, 13 buttons in total. Or sorry, 14, if you count the mail button. And then you have paddle shifters on the sides too. And these numbers represent the sensitivity mode, so one would be on arcade, two would be on the pro, expert would be on three, and then 90 degrees to the right and 90 degrees to the left, which entails 180 degrees of rotation. Then we got the pedals. So these have rubber on the bottom, so like if you're on like tile, you won't slip. Like see on the table, I'm trying to move it and barely moves. Alright, so this connection would be connected right there at the back of the steering wheel. And then how you remove it, there's a little plastic piece sticking out right here. And you just pull it and then pull it out and yeah um this was fifty dollars um for this it was kind of worth it if you're brand new to like um racing games or like driving games um that was the pros uh the cons is the steering radius, I'd rather have like 360 degrees or more than 180 degrees. But for a beginner, it wouldn't be too bad. And then how you um, keep it on the table, it has suction cups on the bottom. And it'll just stick right to the table. I like using clamps, it folds better when you're turning the wheel. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Please like and subscribe and see ya.